he doesn't really think that President Obama went up and tapped his phone personally. I think, but but I think there's a there's no question that the Obama administration that there were actions about surveillance. The president used the word wiretap in quotes to mean broadly surveillance and other activities. But Judge Napolitano says even if the president, uh, former President Barack Obama. Uh, as White House did spy on this president, there may never be a way to prove it. It doesn't mean it didn't happen. Here to explain, Fox News judicial analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano. Judge, what do you mean he can't prove it? I thought, thought he could prove everything. We have all the American surveillance and technology at our fingertips. Okay, so the, the statutes authorize the President of the United States to order the surveillance of any person in the United States of America without suspicion, without probable cause, and without a warrant, meaning he doesn't have to go to yeah. a court to do it. So he can order the NSA, which already has the digital version of our phone calls, to, to transcribe the digital version into a transcript and give it to him. But if he does that, there's a record of the order. Right. So three intelligence sources have informed Fox News that President Obama went outside the chain of command. He didn't use the NSA, he didn't use the CIA, he didn't use the FBI, and he didn't use the Department of Justice. He used GCHQ. What the heck is GCHQ? That's the initials for the British spying agency. They have 24-7 access to the NSA database. So by simply having two people go to them saying, President Obama needs transcripts of conversations involving candidate Trump, conversations involving President-elect Trump, he's able to get it. And there's no American fingerprints on this. So you're saying that the British used their version of the CIA to wiretap Donald Trump's uh, phone or well, power? Well, it's, it's, it's not a wiretap. The concept of plugging a wire into, into a phone box in the basement of a building is what the law was when these statutes were written in 1978. Everything is done electronically now via computer. The NSA has 24-7, 365 access to every mainframe computer of every telecom and every computer service provider that does business in the United wow. States. And they share that with various intelligence agencies, including the Brits. So the British intelligence agency had this. What and happened to the guy who ordered this? Resigned. Yeah, and just how big of a deal could this be? We want to bring in Lieutenant uh, Colonel Tony Schaefer for more on this. Good to have you here. Hey, good morning. Thanks for having me. All good right, so on. this is sure. all just breaking this morning, coming right. straight to us from the president from his Twitter account. We don't right. have a whole lot of details here, but just on the surface, if mm. this ends up being true, if this was the case that the Trump Tower was wiretapped by at that time the sitting president, President Obama, how big of a deal would that be? Oh, this is huge. I mean, this is, uh, this is Soviet, dare I say, Soviet-level wrongdoing. Mm -hmm. uh, look, President Obama has moved up to his Potemkin village and moved in Valerie Jarrett. We have, to be, we have to understand here, it's very likely that he did authorize this. And, and according to, I was and on the drive-in just now, you guys called me a little bit late. Uh, <laughs> well, I was talking to folks on the drive-in. This goes back to July of last year when rumors started on the dark net that even though the Obama administration was getting pushback from the internal mechanisms of the administration, like the FISA court, and by the way, there's going to be a paper trail at NSA on this. And, and let me say, John Brennan's probably involved in this. You have to have kind of three people inside doing this. And I think what's happened here is the paper trail that President, Obama, uh, President Trump is, is referring to has finally showed up. Mm. So let me be very clear. Uh, the, the FISA court thing that, that uh, Brett Baird just talked about, that's one piece of evidence. I'm sure there's others out there. So what this indicates is that uh, this is, this is a, a really uh, the Obama administration was taking on the form uh, using their uh, version of the FSB, the KGB mm -hmm. to go and target a candidate. Let me very clear, be clear on this for your audience. Simply because you don't like someone does mm -hmm. not give you the right as a sitting president mm -hmm. to do something like this. And when you, as a sitting president, as you know, ha you endorse the opposing candidate right. in Hillary Clinton, you have Precisely. a dog in the fight. I want to Precisely. put another piece of evidence on the table. Since sure. the New York Times has been leading uh, some of the coverage on all of this, I was just sent an article from January 19th where the New York Times, right before the inaugural, was talking about the investigations uh, into the Russia connections with uh, uh, Donald Trump and there was a line tucked in there quote one official said intelligence reports based on some of the wiretapped communications there you go wiretapped communications had been provided to the White House again right. Tony January 19th the White House right. then was Barack Obama so is this the source 
of some of these leaks. There have been massive leaks coming out of the FBI, maybe the CIA, uh, alleging all of these different things. Did it come from those wiretaps? Th this is the, the, the Trump Tower, to the best of the Obama administration's ability, was wired for sound. And yes, there was reasons why Mr. Trump did not want to give up his own personal security because he knew that people, you know, close to him may very well become collectors mm. of this sort of thing. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> look, this is this is completely insidious. This is uh, a, an order of magnitude worse than 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 Watergate, where you've actually used the the mechanisms of state, the power of a state to go after a sitting uh, a a candidate for presidency. And with 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 by, by the way, they presumed that he was going to lose, so it wasn't even about sure. him winning or losing. This was about trying to gain advantage for his side. In this case, Miss Clinton. And again, let me be clear on this. This is while the, the the Democrats keep talking about the Russians. This is Soviet behavior. This is the very thing the Soviet Union would have mm. engaged sure. in mm. back during the Cold War. Colonel, what, yeah. What would have been the political? What would have been the cover? The official cover for this surveillance, though, because they they wouldn't come out and say, okay, let's just surveil the opposite candidate. Right. They'd say, okay, we've got evidence that we need to surveil. Well, what are they? What are they surveilling on? They're supposedly. surveilling on, in this case, probably inter, quote unquote international contacts which relate to business transactions. Again, projection. We know for a fact the Clinton Foundation was indeed taking foreign money. A lot of people are recommending that you investigate that. They refused. But instead, here, they focused all their energy on going after Trump over the quote unquote international connections. And let me be clear on this if there is anything to any of that, by now it will have been leaked because you're referring back to what you said on the, the 19 uh, uh, January article. The, everything. It's mainline so called comedy that poses for years as news and then comes out and says Donald Trump's racist, I'm racist. Alex Jones says it. Black people aren't humans. I'm Alec Baldwin playing the part of the president. But people can't believe that that's not true. Because in the past, they would make a skit about, say, but Dave, you know, David Duke and say he didn't like black people or something. People would think, well, I guess he might have said that. But now they just don't care. They just lie. Alex Jones hates gay people. Alec Baldwin said so. And then it becomes something real. It shows they're willing to go to any level. And then they want to ban us and are starting to censor us with the big mega corporations while they claim they're fighting the man. President Trump and Congress need to do something about this. They need to move against Obama's NDAA that set up a thing to censor the independent media. It's not the alternative. We're the real media. Uh, against the traitor media, the enemy media, the garbage media, the cancer media. I, don't, I mean, I don't know what you call it. But the truth is, on every front but health care, and this is a better bill than the original Obamacare, but it's still a big bonanza for the insurance companies, Trump's delivering. That's a whole other debate area about what Trump's doing with this uh, health care bill. I understand it's meant to destroy the whole health care plan Obamacare was, so now it's in such a hole, they need all this new funding, and at least Trump's being honest. It's not like Gruber hiding what's in the bill, and they're on the news saying, there's no death panels, there's no increase in pre premiums, you can keep your doctor, thank God the public's so stupid. Huh? I'll give Trump that, they're being honest about what's in it. But it's still bad. But think about what we'd have with Hillary. And I'm not defending what Trump's doing. I, I'm just thinking about where we were, where we were going, how it's meant to bankrupt the whole country if we don't get rid of Obamacare. This new system actually tries to pay for things and fix the system, but it, it fixes a system that's broken to begin with. So we're welcome to talk about that. We don't screen your calls, just what you're calling about if you want to tell us or how you're listening. Where should we start here? We got uh, transit in Jersey, Obama's final year of spending. Amy wants to talk about vaccines. Jeremy talks about Savage and Islam's war on terror, saying it's a fraud. Jackie says Trump's spirit coming back to USA. Uh, Judge Knapp on Fox, Obama spying NSA. Let's talk to Phil in Florida. Phil, you're up first worldwide. Go ahead. Uh, hey, Alex. Um, real quick, just to point out, uh, the Hill is a PNAC front group. But um, anyway. What, the Hill newspaper? Yes. I just know they're constantly lying about me. Yeah, they're a PNAC, they're a neocon front group. They're like, out but, of the blue, you know, the Alec Baldwin did a piece about aliens and Jones wants to fight him. I mean, Jones is crazy. No, the, the fake Donald Trump said he learned from me that black people aren't humans. I mean, that's serious defamation. I don't care if it's done in a comedy format. And, you know, it, it, it's just crazy. Go ahead. Yeah, so 
Judge Napolitano was on uh, Fox this morning talking about how Obama's fingerprints might not be directly on it. Apparently, the Brits, through their GCHQ or whatever it is, have total access upon request to all of the NSA data. And all he had to do to bypass the three organizations that he mentioned uh, that were American organizations was just ask GCHQ, hey, what's Trump doing? And then GCHQ could inform him. And as we know, you know, Britain is almost totally under control. Sure. Well, I mean, uh, this, I mean, this isn't your opinion, and I'll play the clip. They've always used foreign listening assets to listen to domestic assets or domestic citizens, domestic groups, to get around the law saying you can't spy on your own citizens. So that's a fact. Of course, the president was being surveilled. Any incoming president or any major political candidates being spied on, that's all been declassified. They just think the public's dumb. I mean, they're in the news saying Obamacare was free still. Okay, or you can keep your doctor. Uh, or two plus two equals five, or you didn't build your business. They do that on purpose. But of course, it, it's, it's not debatable. They were all over the news saying, we have intercepts of him talking to the Russians. And then the intercepts were, we can't talk about it till we're in office. But yeah, we'll have meetings about sanctions. That's what a president does. And Flynn's like, I didn't talk about sanctions. Well, you're on the recording talking about sanctions. Yeah, having a meeting about them, that's not talking about sanctions. That's not my job. So in government, they're trained as lawyers or military to answer specifically on what they're being asked about. And so they played that off against people like Sessions meetings. So you're absolutely right, Phil. Yeah. And then the only other thing, they were shocked that the re registration for socialists, the Socialist Party of America, is increasing. But, I mean, that's what we're at war with. We are at war a with... A bunch of lazy, people. dumb people that think Venezuela is the place to live. No, I know. They're really just and people I, that hate prosperity. I, I mean, that's what it comes down to. It's one thing. It's one thing to be greedy and rich. It's another thing to be greedy and lazy. I hear you, brother. Unfortunately, most really rich people have disdain for the public. They want monopolies. They're cold-blooded, and they see us as weak because we actually want to empower the poor people when a large portion of the poor people are dumbed-down piranhas. And if they were elites, they'd be even worse. I, I, I get it. I just can't sign on to, you know, fluoride in their water and vaccines so half of them die. Though we'll probably end up physically having to fight them sooner rather than later physically. I, I just have to take the high road. Uh, since you mentioned it, Obama used British spying agency to get surveillance. That's Fox reporting. Andrew Napolitano, here it is. Three intelligence sources have informed Fox News that President Obama went outside the chain of command. He didn't use the NSA, he didn't use the CIA, he didn't use the FBI, and he didn't use the Department of Justice. He used GCHQ. What the heck is GCHQ? That's the initials for the British spying agency. They have 24-7 access to the NSA database. So by simply having two people go to them saying, President Obama needs transcripts of conversations involving candidate Trump, conversations involving President-elect Trump, he's able to get it. And there's no American fingerprints on this. And that's how they play the game to say America didn't do this when, Amer when England built the first spy grid, had the German codes all broken, and basically set up our grid with them. And they admit this on Discovery Channel and stuff like the entire war. Brits didn't know all their phone calls were being listened to. <laughs> the games they play. And, and you heard Savage talk about a bunch of pedophiles running this. England is run by pedophiles. So is the U.N. It's a fact. You don't get in the club unless you at least rape kids. A lot of them slit their throats, you name it. I mean, at the top. I mean, that's come out in the news. I mean, I, I know it sounds insane. And, but it's, it's, you know, it's going on. They'll say, Jones said a pizza place is slitting throats. No, I didn't. The media made it about a pizza place to divert all off onto that. Where there's no basement, none of that stuff going on. Everybody hyperventilates over it. And then a bunch of fake stuff is put on the web. And everybody forces everybody to cover it. Then it becomes a big hysteria. So we've got that clip. I've got a lot of other clips I want to get to. But I want to go back to your calls here. Um, let's go ahead and talk to Amy in Texas. Amy, you're on the air. Hi, Alex. Glad to be here. Um, I was just recently contacted um, via phone last week to do a survey um, over vaccinations from the CDC. So the CDC called me. Now, last what they're really doing is canvassing with the health department numbers of people that aren't vaccinating their kids to put you in a federal database. That's an Obama deal. So let me tell you, when the CDC calls you, you hang the phone up. 
I, well, and I should have, but I entertained the conversation, okay. so it was very um, intrusive with a lot of forceful questions. A lot uh, of forceful so, questions, yes. It's the government bullying, yeah. so tell us all about the love. So, um, honestly, my kids are fully up to date on their vaccinations. Um, it wasn't until just within the last few months that I started heavily researching and educating myself. Oh, so you, you think you probably got in a database and there was a little intimidation phone call? Because that's actually how that works. I think, I believe so. Well, and that's why the I, quote I, inventor on the internet who, who was involved in it, unlike Al Gore, came out and said, political science has gotten so powerful with databases, they come to your door with a laptop and know everything about you and manipulate you. We've got to ban political advertising online. Well, that sounds reasonable until you realize they're calling us political advertising, countering them. So it is a fact, not conspiracy now, that they've got databases of folks, what you're searching, and the fact that you may be getting woken up, and they've got little phone calls that are just surveys to intimidate you back into line. They call it nudging. Go ahead. So, so how the how the how the how the phone calls start getting? Um, wanted to know uh, where we lived when my children were vaccinated. Um, if they could get records from the doctors that they've had vaccinations at. Um, how likely it would be that we were going to get the flu vaccine and the HPV vaccine for my yeah. teenage daughter. Well, ma'am, let me tell you something right uh, now. That 100%, you talk about up to date, like your bills are paid or, you know, you're up in good standing. This is total social engineering. None of the vaccines even cover what they claim. From the Gardasil of the flu shot, the inserts tell you they don't protect you. They've never guessed the flu shot for the right mutation. Learned immunity is true. Artificially learned immunity is a real science, but there's a great danger, even if it's a, quote, clean vaccine and only the, quote, the, the attenuated pathogen uh, that you're being given, okay? So this is total social engineering, uh, and you gotta watch out. This might not have even been the CDC. A lot of records have been stolen, and a lot of people also call up claiming they're from federal agencies trying to get you to confirm your social security numbers and stuff so they can drain your bank account or loot you. So that might be what this was. I'm not sure, but you don't want to be talking to anybody on the telephone calling up asking you questions, okay? I, I know you're trusting and the government says it, but you know, let me tell you something. It's a fact, okay, that predators have hijacked the government. Trump's trying to clean them out. He can't even get it two levels down cleaned out, okay? So, but, but, but again, most identities have been stolen They've got to call up, though, to confirm other information with you, like maiden name and things, to be able to go out and really steal your identity. So let me ask, they asked you those kind of questions? Um, they did. Mm -hmm. and they Probably had your identity stolen, down... ma'am. Sorry, go ahead. Yes. Yes. Um, they also set down the availability for me to send out emails and share your articles and articles over vaccines to, you know, certain people. Excuse me. So this, whatever this bully con artist was, Government or not on the phone started telling you what you can and can't do. Here, here, tell me more. What what they say? No, they um, I, they also censored my email. They they shut it completely down for thirty six hours. I was not able to get on my email. I would enter my password, and it was not. Well, that might not be related, but but there is a lot of social engineering being tested, and they admit that with real phone calls, real things into databases. But you probably. Uh, you, you probably gave him your email. Whoever it was broke in, stole your identity, and locked you out. So you need to you need to call and check with the bank and everything. You probably had your identity stolen. Because, see, they can pose as – everybody submits to government. So con artists are going to tell you your government, okay? And there's con artists in government, but there's also con artists that aren't in government. Okay, so you probably had your identity stolen. Uh, I'm going to get your name and number. Give us your contact. I want to see where this goes as you do me, more research. But, Amy, did you ever think this might not be the government calling you up? I didn't just because it seemed too coincidental with my with my recent. No, no, ma'am, ma'am, that's not how it works. They haven't gotten to that. Okay. Listen, yeah, yeah, no, you probably online in a data breach or with a major bank. They have your info. They've got to call and get more to be. Have you checked your bank accounts? Have you checked your credit card stuff? Yes, yes, and and there are no there are no transactions that have been made that haven't been by me. All right. Well, I appreciate your your call. We're gonna we're just if you got more info, keep in touch. We'll give you the email. John Harmon can talk to you. You see, when I was a child, there were four or five vaccines. Now that's up to sixty. It's they want to give you hundreds. The neurological disorders are off the charts. It's killing people. So everybody's got to decide to say no. 
Now, they always say you should be arrested if you don't take vaccines. You'll make other people sick. If they've had the vaccine, how is you not having it to get them sick? The vaccines causes the shingles. The shingles vaccine is live herpes simplex. Attenuated, but it still gives it to you. My dad, before he quit uh, doing medical practice, he said almost all his old patients would get shingles. He'd say, oh, did you take the shot? Yeah, last week. And he'd be like, oh, very nice. A lot of them would just die afterwards. You wouldn't see them no more. But she's like, ah, oh, they're just dead. No big deal. Just, you know, dead babies, dead old people, dead everybody. You know, it's no big deal. Let's just be liberal and trust our government. Amy, I appreciate your call. God bless you. Uh, listen, our government's overrun by communist Chinese operatives, Islamists, you name it. The government's gone. The media is controlled. Con artists have your identity at half the time. You've got to start not trusting people you don't know. Well, the old timers kept their money in a mattress and only trust people they knew for 50 years. That's called being smart, not called being an old timer. You, know, you get old enough, you get screwed over enough, you, you become an old timer. Oh my God. Jackie in New York, you're on the air, go ahead. Good afternoon, Mr. Jones, how are you? Uh, basically, I wanted to talk about, um, I'm 68, and I was at the demonstrations with Vietnam. I was at the demonstrations at the Republican National Convention. And for the past 30, 40 years, I have felt almost helpless and powerless with all the nonsense that's been going on. Um, I started working for Trump in August, where I live, uh, got ostracized, got befriended, all this nonsense, and I, now I just feel like there's fondly hope that maybe just Exactly. Maybe. You went through the bullying, you went through the intimidation, you went through the racketeering, but now you're coming out of the clouds into the sun. Exactly. Because the persecution became sweet, not bitter, because it actually delivered something. It actually had an effect. You feel mm -hmm. fulfilled. About it, and I don't understand why people... I was taught manners, and how you can disrespect the position that President Trump has, burn him in effigy, put boreholes into a dummy, that's not respect. And I don't believe kids today have respect because either they decided not to learn it. They've been given they everything. They haven't been overrun by foreign enemies and seen their cities burn yet. They'll learn respect. They haven't seen bioweapons killing billions of people yet. They'll learn respect. If we're unable to fight the globalist plan, they will beg in the end. Beg that we would have been there to save them. Wouldn't that be something? They think because yeah. you care, Jackie, that you're weak. See, they see you not being arrogant and you caring as weak. They're just fallen, pathetic people, brain damage from vaccines. You really got to feel sorry for them. But the good news is enough people are awake who do see what's happened, and so we're coming together. I hope so. But I did want to say one thing. This is old news. The uh, satanic thing that was on a couple weeks ago. And I got ostracized for Trump. I got ostracized for being a wicked. And I got ostracized back when hippies started. But I just want to put in a good word for us because none of us paid any attention to it. And Well, sure, no, I, mean, I want to be clear that people following other ancient religions obviously aren't the classical Middle Ages devil worship that, that we see the globalists pushing. I understand that. Uh, but, but the thing is, they, they are pushing that. And those archetypes of Christian versus the devil, that's what they're, that's what they're building and doing. But I, I certainly am not going to sit there and you know, judge people and attack people that have other religious views and things. And I certainly get that classical earth worship is not your classical devil worship. So I hear you, Jackie. Uh, let's come back and talk to Trace, Matt, Kimberly, and others straight ahead. Uh, but I tell you, it's one hell of a time to be alive, folks. Do not answer questions when somebody calls you. All right, Paul Watson is coming up from London, England here in just about six minutes. I want to thank you all for tuning in today. I'm going to try to get as many of your calls as I can right now, like Trance or Trace and... Kimberly and uh, Jeremy and a few others. But I was just thinking about how we're just sitting here calmly taking the fact that they're openly saying they're going to censor us and are starting to shut us down. It's just, it's just crazy. And the lying and all of it. We're dealing with a group of authoritarians that are posing as liberals and they're allied with a bunch of fake conservatives. And it just comes down to that. Don't submit to them. Don't go along with them. Speak out against them. And just keep waking other people up. And we're going to win because our, 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 our ideology is, is prosperity and, and just basic common sense. Like President Trump has said, doesn't mean we're perfect, but we're not out to get people.
Trace in New Jersey, you're on the air. Thanks for calling. Alex? Yes. How you doing, my man? Good. Uh, I'm calling from, uh, from New Jersey. You know, I actually uh, gave you a call last year. I was calling because I saw this article on Yahoo News earlier, and it, it caught my attention because it was like, really? Well, Obama's final year, U.S. spent $36 million in records losses. That is amazing to me. There was 31 FOIA lawsuits filed by the New York Times alone, and all of these have been defeated. How? Because of this $36 million that Obama has pushed, and it's not just in, you know... Yeah, I'm missing yeah, what you're saying. Uh, well, what's the headline of the article? In Obama's final year, he did what? Thirty-six he million in record law. Yeah, in, in 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 records lawsuits. Is that? Oh yeah, trying to block Foyer, not not following the Freedom of Information Act. Yes. Oh, I know. And the last few years, they just refuse everything and anything. The borders are open. Total lawlessness. That's a good point. Now, what it's saying right here, as I'm looking at the article, as uh, I'm on the phone with you, it says of the thirty-six million in legal costs. Fighting such lawsuits last year, the Justice Department accounted for twelve million, the Homeland Security Department for six point three million, and the Pentagon for four point eight million. The three departments accounted for more than half the government's total records request. Oh, I've sent off under Obama three times with lawyers and money for my FBI file. They just won't even respond to the FOIA. They just do not care. The courts ignore it. The media ignores it. They gave Obama total cover for lobbyists and, and, and criminality and releasing no records. And now we're getting records through Trump. It's $260 billion. Last week it was $180-something billion. $260-plus billion Obama stole out of people's private bank accounts and gave to insurance companies in Obamacare. I mean... I mean, just bank. I mean, imagine if, 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 if he robbed Fort Knox, it'd be a big deal. Because it was digital, it's okay. And we're just learning. That's why they so, want Trump out of there. They're so scared. Because they've just committed crimes the likes of which the world's never seen. As a veteran, seeing this, it blows my mind because of the pure simple fact. I know what they're doing to us veterans. And I'm looking at the fact that Obama went ahead and spent almost $40 million to block the truth getting out so no one has ever blocked foyer like this it violated federal law they don't even respond we've done all sorts of foyers about simple stuff not even a response and you can take them into court and the courts just sit there and tie it all up they're ignoring the law it's a act of belligerent tyranny against the people and that's why finally you see trump is the last gasp of trying to save the country and a bunch of spoiled rotten scum like snoop dogg and alec baldwin running around making up more lies, trying to stop us, trying to save the country. But, uh, Trace, I'm glad, you, I'm glad you raised that because that's a big deal. Uh, and I keep forgetting that, I mean, Obama ignored four years like no one else in history. All right, I want to take one more call from Jeremy in Kansas, and then I'm going to hand the baton to Paul Watson. We're going to watch it in the next segment. I'm Alex Jones, Infowars.com forward slash show. They're censoring us. Spread the links. We can overpower them. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to sit here and say, see, I told you so, that communist Chinese-style net censorship was coming to the web, because it's already here. It's being announced. The way you keep the Internet open and free is you get involved more than ever. Go to InfoWars.com forward slash app. A new battleship in the fight. InfoWars Live, available right now. We're looking for a crew to man it. You going to sit down and play games and be a trendy, or are you going to be part of history? Don't sit by...